Okay, so that screen grab didn't work. Um, it didn't have any audio. I just had what you see on the screen without audio. So that wasn't gonna work. So we gotta figure something out, but I'm gonna go ahead and make another one of the eyeglass holders so that you guys have the directions on how to do it. Once again, we need the um, bead stopper or you can use a piece of tape and I've lost my, oh, here it is, my tape where you just tie it on, or uh, not tie it, I'll show you here. Take a little piece, fold it over on the end like that, and then you can bead. And then when you get done, you just pull it off. But like I said, that isn't the most secure. Bead stoppers are more secure, so you'd want that. We have the beads that you want for your focal bead. I just grabbed a whole bunch here. 18 is gonna be in the kit. We've got the daisy um, spacers. We've got the two crimp tubes. Whoops, I dropped one over there. And then two of the eyeglass holder components and then the seed beads. And I just have a bunch. I don't have the exact same amount of what will come in the um, kits of the focal beads and the seed beads out. I just grabbed some so that we could go through this quick. Um, you will need for tools, your crimp pliers and a cutter. I've added the cutter to the website in the directions. So just so that that's all out there for you guys. So first we're going to take and bring our wire down to the seed beads, find the hole and just put them on that way rather than picking them up individually. We're going to put five of the seed beads on. Then we're going to do one of the daisy spacers, one of the black onyx or whatever your focal bead is, and then one of the daisy spacers. So at the very beginning, what we have going on here is that. There it is sideways. And then I'm gonna add 11 of the um, beads on there, of the seed beads. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Included in the kit will be the wire too. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this video. So we have the spacer bead, black onyx or your focal bead, and another spacer bead. So with that 11 in between, it looks like that. The kits are made that you can do up to 30 inches. Eyeglass holders, when I went out and looked at them, are anywhere from 25 to 30 inches. So with that being said, I did include enough that you could go up to the 30 inches. So you have 18 grams of seed beads. Let's see, that's seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11. Okay. Then there is 18 focal beads. And then there is also enough spacers for um, the daisy spacers for each of the focal. And there might be a couple extra. Just wanted to make sure. You will get the two crimp tubes and two of the eyeglass components. We talked about on the live that I prefer the eyeglass components that have the silver wire wrapping to them rather than the ball because they'll slip off, the ball slip off easier. Just my preference, it's up to you with what one you want. I included the, the one with the wire. They also will have that uh, rubber part will come in either clear or black. And all the kits have clear. There's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And the size that I'm going to make, it will be um, 15 of the focal beads will be on there. So you'll have three left over. To you, if you want to use all 18, just decrease the amount of seed beads you have in between to be at a part that you like. Um, the reason why I did five here at the beginning is that that's the part that hangs down. So you don't want to have a focal bead right here. You want it to be down a little bit. 
and I just chose five. You can choose what it is for you. You do you, and you make it unique for you. That's what's great about making jewelry is you get to make it for yourself and or for whoever you're gifting it to. And it doesn't have to be like someone else's. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. I'm going to count these out so I don't make sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen. There's my extras. Okay. It's just so that I don't go accidentally over and go, how big am I making this? <laughs> and I do it on a mat. As you see, I have a bead mat here. You can do it on a towel. You can do it on... Um, a bead mat if you want to purchase a bead mat. You just don't want to do it on a flat surface because your beads will fly everywhere. This is a way to make them stop and not run all over the table or whatever surface you're working on. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops. Nine. Get on there, ten. And 11. There we go. Um, and if you notice, I do not lift up my project as I'm working on it. I leave it laying on the table or whatever surface I'm beating on. I use um, cookie sheets to, uh, or baking sheets, whatever you want to call them, to do it with when they have the ridges. So, so here's like what I have, I'll take this down to the living room and bead. It's got all my components and then I'll just clear out a spot so I can uh, bead on it. But it, it helps me carry everything. <laughs> so I do a lot of beading that way. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. I have found that if you just take your your wire and go to the beads, like on seed beads or on like beads that are all the same on a bead tray, um, it just makes it faster. the The focal bead or these um, daisy spacers, it doesn't make it faster. Rather than doing, here we got one, you can do it like this where you pick them up and then you have to turn them to get them to the right spot. Four. You can do it this way too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can do it that way too. I just find that that's slower for me. So you find what works best for you and that you can just go um, to town and make jewelry. So, I don't think I introduced myself at the beginning of this one. Oh, I am Carol with Carol Joes. It is an online jewelry store, an accessory store. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Gotta move that down so I can get the other two on there. Um, what I did is I created kits so that you could make the eyeglass um, holder and they're available for purchase on my website. I will, in the description, put a link to the um, item that you, if you would like to purchase it. I have black onyx, one of the types of jasper, um, rose quartz, and a, it's like a purple, a raspberry purple um, jade available at this time of recording it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11. The reason why I didn't do an introduction at the beginning like I normally would, let me just double count this. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, I am missing one. Um, was because I tried to do this while um, do a screenshot or a screen recording of everything when I was in TikTok. I have TikTok um, that I do a live from, and I had done this earlier on TikTok and I was hoping to get that recorded from TikTok and be able to upload that and it didn't have any sound. So I'm having to record re-record it here and upload it. The reason why I'm uploading it is for those that purchase the kit then you have the directions on how to do this in case you didn't remember from our watching it on the live. So if you want to join me on TikTok I think that's it. Let me double check out here. Um, you sure can. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yep, got it. Um, and then I have a schedule that I sent out during the week about what we're doing. And so this was the first time I have done a DIY kit, and we were trying to get it all done. So it is in the uh, learning stages of how to do this. So just bear with me while we're learning how to do it. But it's fun and it lots and lots of people are joining great community there now there's 10 and there's 11 so what i do just to give you some background here from the YouTube perspective, because I really haven't said it on YouTube. I create jewelry and I sell it on my online um, website, which is caroljoes.com. Um, I also do TikToks where I just show you how I make the jewelry and all about the small business world of having a jewelry business. So I have a I have that going on and I go live on TikTok um, probably at least three times a week. I try to get to five. I really haven't used YouTube that much. There's 10, that's 11. Um, and we're gonna probably change that up to do the videos here on YouTube and then I can connect them to the item when I sell it. And then they will see it also on TikTok. So I'm going to intermix all three, um, my website, TikTok, and YouTube, to just grow what I'm doing here. I love sharing my knowledge of jewelry making with people. I love being able to um, just talk to people about it. And that's why I do that mostly on TikTok is because it's an interactive means nine, 10, and 11. So I think I just need to have both both worlds intercombined to make it what I want to do. So we'll see how this goes. You're along with the journey with me. And if you guys have suggestions, put it in the comments and we can go with it. There's three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're going to add on the last of our focal beads. We got the daisy spacer, the focal bead, daisy spacer. Now we're going to do five of the seed beads. One, two, three, four. Five. All right. So this is what the black onyx one will look like. Oh, I really like that one. Oh. Okay, I'm proud of that one. Sorry. <laughs> Just have to say, I do like that one. So now we take our crimp tubes and put one of them on. We talked about crimp tubes, and that is the one thing with crimp tubes, you do not cheap out on your crimp tube. You want to have a sterling silver crimp tube. You want the tube over the bead. 
you want to have, um, it's a two, and I don't remember what the two is for, but your crimp tube will have the number two in it. So if you need to purchase any, that's what you want to do. In the kits, you will get two crimp tubes. If you have not done the wire um, finishing before, I would suggest going out and getting some extra crimp tubes. And, um, you know, if you buy a kit, you can use the end of the um, eyeglass here to practice with and practice doing it before you make your first one. You might want to do it like three to five times and just get better at it and walk through each step of it here. So you put the crimp tube on. Here, I'm going to get this up closer. See the crimp tube there, and then you have your um, eyeglass holder component. Go over the top of it and back through the bead so that you create a U. Come on, dangle down. Because you want this, you want this to be where this will move freely like that. Have a little bit of a gap, and then your crimp tube. You don't want to have a gap like this. As you can see here, you see that big, huge hole right here. We don't want to have that. We want it to be up there, not snug, because if it's snug, when you move this, it will break the wire, but enough that it can move freely. So we've got that. Your crimp tube pliers has two components to it. So don't look at this back one, that's just the back end. But you see up here is the, the there's one there, and then there's one there. See if you can get, yeah, you can kind of see it there, let me. Put this down and I'm going to put my hand behind it. So there you go. You can see it. So you want to put it in this back one to begin with. And that's going to create a hot dog bun like effect where you have like the U, like the side of the bun, the bottom and the side. So that's what you want to do first. And you put the wire on each side of the tube. Press down and then you've got the hot dog. You're not going to be able to see this on camera. I don't even know. Even if I try to get close, I don't think you're going to see it, but I'll try here. Yeah, nope, you're not going to see that very well. But that's the first step. Second step is that you want to use the front one. So you turn it, the hot dog all bun opening towards you. Use the front one and smash the two sides together. And then that just creates a really tight circle. Use your thumb and see if you can pull that crimp tube. If you can't, you got it on there and you're good to go. If you didn't, then you're gonna need another tube and try again. Take the beads and cover up your wire. So you just wanna string them on like that. So they're like that. Grab this end that has your stopper on it, push it down. See how I don't have any, all my extras up here. I've gotten rid of it all through here. Take your bead stopper off. Repeat what we did on the other side, almost the same. There's one step that's a little bit different. So we put the crimp tube on. We put our eye glass holder component back through the tube. This time go through a few of the beads, come out the bead and pull. Now when I did that, you're gonna notice my crimp tube's up here and I have a little bit of space in here. You're gonna move your crimp tube down up against the bead and then pull on this tail and pull it so that you don't have that extra space in there, but not tight because we want it to move so we don't break it by wearing it and being too tight. And, you, and this just takes time to learn this technique and even me, I've been doing jewelry for many, many years. It still takes me time. So you'll see here, we got it, where it's dangling down. We have a little bit of space between the two, but not a lot. That's what we want. Now go ahead and repeat the same way. You're going to crimp with the hot dog bun open, and then we're gonna smash the sides together when you turn it, and then smash them together. Now, this is where you're gonna use your wire cutters or the cutter so this one has a flat side on this side so it can sit up against a bead you're going to put the wire in between your cutters and then lay that on there on that bead so you see how it lays on the bead and then just cut the one wire that way you are cutting it flat with the bead and it won't poke you don't cut through both wires because you're going to be restringing if you cut through both 
So there we have the eyeglass holder. So it goes on. The, how this works is you take your glasses, you put one side on this, your other side on this side. I have to have my glasses all the time. So I don't need one of these. I'm not one that has to have a reader and it's like that. So that's how that works. So put them on there. And then if you don't need it and you're because you're not reading and you put it down like that. So that's why it depends on if it's 25 or 30 is how far you want it to lay down when it's sitting here. That's the reason why there's a difference. And there wasn't in everything that I read on these and that I've looked at, there isn't a set size. So it's really truly on how far down do you want them to dangle on you or whoever you're gifting it to. So that is the tutorial on how to do these. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me comments and I will get back to you as I see the comments. And um, always join me on my TikTok lives where we have interaction right away. If you have a question and you jump on my live, I will um, answer it. My TikTok is Carol Joes LLC if you want to find me there. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.